All right, let's jump right in. Today, we're going to talk about the rhythmic connection with Ninja Trader. So, if you've been around prop firm trading, trading multiple accounts for any amount of time, you, I'm sure, have heard of or dealt with the position sinking issues between rhythmic and Ninja Trader. This problem has been around for a long time, probably as long as the rhythmic connection has been active on Ninja Trader with prop firm trading on multiple accounts. Nobody's been able to solve it. Nobody has a solution. It's all over Discord servers. It's all over the Ninja Trader support forum in various threads. I'm excited to tell you I have a solution. We're going to dive into the details right now. By the way, what you're seeing in the background is my trade copier. I'm selling hundreds of these each month. It's been quite the journey building a team to support all the customers. And man, it's just fun, honestly, working with customers to solve challenges that arise when copying trades across multiple accounts. As you guys probably have experienced, no trade copier solution is perfect, but I'm working very hard toward the best trade copier solution. Coming up, we're going to cover practical examples of 23 accounts, rhythmic accounts, trading across these accounts. We're going to see the position sinking issue happen, understand it, and see the solution for resolving it. Second, I'm going to cover the settings in this very quickly. And then third, I'm going to discuss the differences between Rhythmic and Trade of Eight and why I think that Rhythmic is actually still the preferred connection type. So let's look at the screen now. In the bottom left corner, I've got Rhythmic open. We can see the positions across all 20 of my accounts. In here, I've got 20 accounts and three Boulinox accounts, all Rhythmic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a trade and I'm gonna show you guys Again, we're copying these trades across all the accounts. I've got it on executions mode. Okay, we're short all the accounts. You can see a slight delay, but now we have all 23 accounts short. Now I wanna hit close. Five accounts remain. Five accounts have a lingering position. So watch quickly what happened. Did you see the countdown? Let's do it again. Let's hit buy market this time. Working on the front end here, the front end is slow sinking too. But now when we exit the position, this is where we have a solution. We can see in the bottom left corner, all the rhythmic accounts are flat. We can see Ninja Trader has four lingering accounts. These positions are automatically refreshed by the window. Let's take another trade. Sell market. You can see all 20 rhythmic accounts are short. Here we have a lingering delay. Now they're all showing short. Let's go ahead and fill the target. And again, rhythmic is flat. Four lingering positions in Ninja Trader. The software automatically refreshes the position. You can even see this at the bottom. Rhythmic positions for MNQ have been refreshed automatically across four accounts. Your positions in this window or in the control center positions tab are now synced with Rhythmic Trader Pro. So here's the positions tab that I'm mentioning, but even this is incorrect. Ninja Trader gets lingering positions. So let's do another one. Let's switch it to orders mode. Let's buy limit. Here I'll go ahead and show you orders mode, by the way is excellent. It's going to keep everything in sync. So we can have targets, stops. You can see the follower count down here. Let's go ahead and move the target and see if we can get filled. And let's pay attention. We have positions across all these accounts. Positions are now closed, but lingering in rhythmic is three accounts. See the button? Button shows three, the countdown completes and it refreshes the positions. This honestly, guys, this doesn't get old because I'm so proud of what I've accomplished here. Let's get in another position. 
move the stop, move the target. Again, follower count stay in sync. Notice we've got all 20 accounts in a position down here in the R Trader Pro window. Let's keep moving it down. I want to let the market trade through if possible. And there you have it, a rare moment when all the positions actually appear closed in Ninja Trader matching what you see in our Trader Pro. All positions are flat. Rhythmic has two lingering positions indicated by the button and it refreshes the positions automatically. So guys, what happens here is that a lot of trade copiers, let me try and explain this, is that if Ninja Trader is showing a long position, let's say it's showing a one contract long position remaining or worse, a two or three contract, right? And you go to hit close, it's gonna submit, in the case of a long, it's gonna submit a sell to close that out. Well, what happens when in Rhythmic, at the Rhythmic server, we're actually flat? Now you're gonna be in the opposite position going short. I'm sure you guys have seen this many times. So again, this is what's resolved with the work that I've done in this window. Brief interruption, I've changed into my favorite fit, the plain black tee to ask you guys to like this video and leave a comment. When you do this, it helps YouTube know to prioritize the content and push the video out to more users. Plus, if you know, the rhythmic issue has been plaguing traders for a long time. So let's celebrate this, leave a comment. I'm gonna read every single comment. And when we leave comments, it's gonna get the video out in front of more people. Thanks, you guys. All right, let's take another trade. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit sell market. We can see that all rhythmic positions are filled. We've got positions showing on Ninja Trader and R Trader Pro in the bottom left. Let's go ahead and close the trade. All right, in this case, you can see right there, we've got two accounts with lingering positions and they're automatically refreshed by the window. All right, quickly, how does this work? First of all, it's detecting a flat position on the master account. When this happens, it's gonna look for any lingering positions on follower accounts. Also, it's detecting when the number of positions has decreased. So in this case, in these examples, we have 23 positions on the NASDAQ. When that number decreases from 21 to any number, it's also gonna check. Why is this important? Because the master account can also have a lingering position, meaning when you get out of the trade, the master account itself can also be left in a position, at least according to Ninja Trader, when in reality, in Rhythmic, it's already flat. So again, very detailed, but I hope you'll just rewatch this and take it in because it's very important to understand what's going on. Let's quickly go through the settings. So you've got this rhythmic positions section right here. Most of this is cosmetic, but I'm just gonna cover some of what's going on. Detection time in seconds. Again, this is from the moment the master account goes flat or from the moment the number of positions is decreasing. Either one of those actions indicates you're trying to close out all your positions across rhythmic accounts. So again, this detects rhythmic accounts. So after that moment happens, after 2.2 seconds, or however this is configured, it's going to check all rhythmic accounts specifically. Again, it doesn't check other types of accounts, just rhythmic accounts. It's gonna detect if there is an appearing to be an open position, right? Be clear, appearing to be an open position in NinjaTrader, which more than likely in most cases, this is a false position. Then if you have refresh automatically checked after a certain number of seconds here set to five, it's going to automatically refresh those positions across the accounts with lingering positions. So I hope this is clear. Again, this is just cosmetic stuff with rhythmic and the button color. You can also separate the button. 
here. I personally like uh, the button being combined with the flatten all button. I think it's excellent. This way you're not trying to hit flatten all. Although I will remind you the flatten all button is programmed to not reverse positions. So a lot of copiers, a lot of other software, it will completely reverse the position because again, it thinks that you're long. Ninja Trader believes you're long. So it's gonna submit a cell to close that, which then puts you in a short position. What a mess. Anyways, so I hope that is helpful again in kind of covering the settings and understanding what this window is doing. All right, let's talk about trade of eight versus rhythmic connections. I'm gonna pull up here what I have from Apex Trader Funding, and this is the important info right here. So pause the video and read it. But you are limited with trade of eight to 5,000 unique user initiated actions per user per rolling 60 minutes. So again, they say placing a new order modifying an existing order, canceling an existing order, are all considered unique actions. So let's think about this quickly for someone who's using trailing styles, for someone who places and cancels orders often in my head. Quickly take 5,000 divided by 20. What is that? 250, am I right? 250 actions if you're trading 20 accounts and then the API is gonna quit working. So a lot of times what happens is if you're using trailing stops, bam, 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 your 250 commands are quickly declining. So this is something that I wanna solve. Actually, another update is that I wanna keep track of these commands in the software so that we can warn you when you're about to run out of commands, right? Because nothing's worse than trading using the trade of eight connection when all of a sudden, you can't manage the accounts anymore from Ninja Trader. Horrible, right? Again, that, that kind of thing will never happen with Rhythmic. This is why I prefer Rhythmic over Trade of Eight, especially with what I've done in solving the problems right here in this window, right? So what I've already shown you guys. We now know and we can be confident that positions are synced between Rhythmic and Ninja Trader, and this window is handling it automatically. And I'm gonna be doing more videos more frequently. I wanna show you guys some things here in these other windows. I've got 73 accounts, been doing some testing lately with Apex um, Rhythmic, Apex Tradeivate. Again, my Tradeivate accounts are currently underneath the business, are disconnected, so they're showing red dots. But this, Newest version of the trade copier is running so fast. Again, 73 accounts, no problems. I'm going to be showing you guys that in an upcoming video. Um, yeah, so exciting. But in conclusion, I just want to say thank you so much. You've made it all the way through the video. I'm going to ask you to like and comment, especially if you're one of my customers. I'm going to read every single comment. If you're, you know, you love the copier, I want to hear it. If you have issues, I want to hear it. If you have questions, we're going to be looking at the questions. But yeah, like I want to interact with you guys. I want to see you guys lighten up the comments. When you light up the comments, it's going to help this content get out to more people. Also subscribe because I am planning on publishing more content more frequently coming up. And so if you're subscribed, you're going to be notified right away and be in on that. So yeah, I just want to say Thanks again, guys. We'll see you on the next video.